Hello, my name is Gwen Powell. I'm the product developer and investor behind the Dragee Kiss Pearl Applicator. I'm here today to show you how to get into your packaging and how to use your Dragee Kiss. How to get into your Dragee Kiss. At the back, push your fingers to the side and lift the flap and you're in. How to store your Dragee Kiss, just close the flap again, push at the bottom until it clicks in, push at the top until it clicks in and there you go. When you receive your new um, applicator, please do me a favour and just lubricate the plunger which will make your Dragee Kiss run so much smoothly. In the UK we use Trex but wherever you are use a little bit of vegetable oil and just lubricate your plunger like that, insert it again into the, into the body and there you go, you'll see that it will run much smoother. I'm going to show you the different components of the Dragee Kiss so that you understand exactly how it works. So first of all we have the plunger, take the plunger out and inside there is also a spring and we've got the hopper and the nozzle. How to put it back together again, you take your body, you put your spring inside, put your plunger in, always make sure that the one that can actually, the little pin that you can see there, can actually engage with that, otherwise it's not going to work. Push it in a little bit until it engages, it's in, take your, uh, your nozzle, put it back on and your hopper back on. The Dragee Kiss Pearl Applicator works best with 4mm pearls but can also work with 5mm and 3mm if you are patient. But 4mm works the best. You need to make sure that your pearls are perfectly formed, round, not oval, otherwise they will get blocked inside the pearl applicator. How to get the pearls into your hopper? Open, put your funnel and load your pearls. Don't fill it up too much, you need a little bit of space in there, you'll see why at a later day, a later stage. Close it up again and now the technique for the Dragee Kiss to work properly is to actually let your plunger go all the way forward and come all the way back. Let the spring do the work for you. So you push forward, you'll see your, your um, pearl coming out, you've got full control over your pearl. A little further push and it's on your cake. Let the plunger come all the way back, all the way forward, and there comes your next pearl. If you do not go all the way back and you stay there and you go forward, the next ball is not there. I'll do that again. If you don't go all the way back, your next pearl will not be able to come out. Go all the way back and then forward, gentle, and it's there. A little push and it's on your cake. Now you are following the correct technique about going all the way to the front and coming all the way to the back but nothing is coming out. The reason might be that there is a ball in there that is misshaped and it's blocking the actual um, um, entry point. So what we're going to do is we're going to give it a small flick upwards and the balls will fall back into the guideline and you can continue again all the way forward, all the way back, all the way forward all the way back. 